guys welcome to part 34. Last episode, Serena's mom has been making like the most intricate place ever. And we couldn't figure out what Serena's deal was with why she would just sit there and keep attacking random walls. So then we figured it out. If you attack her until she drops to her knees. Look at this place. This has to be it. It's creepy. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. Necromancy's creepy. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Oh, your setup. She must have spent years collecting these components. By the way, I have dragon bones. And what's this thing? What thing? It's a circle. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Like... My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Okay. I really maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. Yeah, I know the spider webs are incredible. Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. Sounds about right. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. All right. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Hey, look, it's red. <laughs> Yeah, normally like an arrow would point right to I just went over and look, it's red. <laughs> okay, Harkin's short sight has become Brenna, get her to do more and come to soon as possible. Sweet! Sweet, I guess what I just found in a very short journal. Any luck yet? Find your mother's notes. You did? Let me see. Let me grab your shoulder. What's a soul card? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. But things do vanish. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Ooh. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her, unless she's dead. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. Don't touch it. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul care. Okay. What do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some <gasps> finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. What? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this Maybe in the first place. Maybe she kept it in a jar. Really? You share blood? Mm, not bad. That was my first thought, actually. You better actually. hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... Where Wisconsin. are we? Wisconsin. Anyway, enough of that. I love Wisconsin. Let's get started. All those ingredients oh, here? definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Alright. I remember finding purified soy. Hey, look at that! Find the ground bone meal. And I remember the soldier bring guitar because last time... Because last time, I... Really? I actually just kind of walked around and stole lots and lots of just random crap just because I could. That's why there's like nothing here because I took it all. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's go for it. It's time to make random crap. Okay. Give me a second. I gotta try to include coarse eggs in any of my experience, experiments. Just because I got so many stinking coarse eggs, it's ridiculous. Actually, okay, keep a close eye on this. See the day draw hearts, yeah? Sorry. That was weird. I almost had like an accent of which I can't think of what's called. You see the day heart? Yeah. For pity's sake, don't use it in any potions. You'll regret it later on. Trust me. You'll regret it. Later on in life... Everyone stop. Everyone stop. Later on in life, you'll sit there and say, Man, I need Deidre hearts. And I'm not going to tell you why for now. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to. Later on in life, you'll be going, Man, I need some Deidre hearts. Do you know what I need Deidre hearts for? Deidre armor. Yeah, I just spoiled it. So... 
where do I get danger hearts? And it'll drive you psychologically insane. Forever. I'm gonna totally get this. It'll drive you psychologically insane. You'll just be sitting there going, where do I get danger hearts? Where do I get danger hearts? Where do I get danger hearts? And then you'll remember what I told you. Not spend them. Sweet, what's that saying? It's gonna be awesome. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Cthulhu? Can I ask you something first? Of course. What is it? What will you do if you find your mother? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came like, back to the castle. Like, hug, happy... She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Wait, what'd you do? Sounds like she was pretty selfish. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. Aww. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. And he really went over the edge. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Thank Are you. we ready then? I'll have to like reassure your shoulder grab my computer. No problem. I'm glad I can help. Alright, let's get that portal open. Alright, here goes. Alright, so what, you're just gonna slit your wrists? It Ew, you just bit your wrist. That is dis- oh! <laughs> what? Incredible. Simply incredible. Uh, anything you can tell me before we go down there? Is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. Oh. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Huh. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Yeah. I'm ready when you are. <sighs> Let's do this! Oh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Ooh, Dragonbone weaponry. I want some precious. Woo! Better. Wait for the program to respond. Whoa! Hold on, what was that quest called? Chasing Echoes. Give me a second. Chasing Echoes. Got it. Wow! 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 Wowza! All right, all right. Dude, it's a ghostly guy. Soul husk. I got no idea what this is. Hi. I yearn to see the great dunes of Hammerfell once again. Hammerfell? You're a long ways from. Oh wait, we're not scared. What's that giant? What's this thing? Soul harvested. Gym. That's what it was. Then I must be. Oh no. Huh? Let's keep moving. Ah! Ah! It touched me. It touched me. Hello. This place tears at me as though I'm still alive and being drawn and quartered. I. Can't stand it anymore. What a horrible place. This place is messed up. I feel like I am cheating. What the? What is that thing? Only those who have suffered long can find the light within the shadows. Well, that's depressing, but okay. By the way, there's two quests we need to do here. At least I think. I know I can look quick, but ah! What is that thing? That's probably a bad idea. At least they aren't hard. Oh, this one is. 
Come on. Bone man. I wonder what's the difference between you and a skeleton. Ooh, soul gem. Soul husk interrupts the soul drain effect. The soul card resists 10% of magic for 10 seconds. Cool. Soul husk. Cool. I wasn't aware there was an effect on me, but... Okay. Why are there churches everywhere? What is this thing? Why does everything look so weird? I want to jump into it, but I'm not sure what would happen. But yeah, I need to talk to two people. You must help me find my Arvac. Yep. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. What happened? Calm down. Who's Arvac? Arvac, my horse. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature, and he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. How can I help him? Arvac! Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! Alright. Farewell. <laughs> he's freaking out then. Farewell. Yep. Get out while you can. Ouch. Nice to see you too, sir. Yeah, we need to find his skull, and then I think there's another part, but, uh, we need to... Oh, hey! Hi there! Oh, that, that guy's really strong. So you're gonna do something clever. Wow! Oh, wow, that didn't do anything. He is firmly planted. I gotta find a way to get back. I'm coming! Ah, oh, great. At least he can't hit very hard. Yeah, we need to find our back skull before we leave. Don't worry, we got plenty of time. Plus these guys, they drop loads of soul gems, which I want. So, I need to trade some things with you. I'll hang back for a bit, but you're oh, not you. leaving me behind. This is too important. No, I need to. I heard stories about the soul cairn, but never thought I'd. Anything good? Is it anything good? Uh, well, uh, let's just see. You can have this basket. <laughs> Why do you have a basket? What is this all this it's all this crap you have? I thought it would be important, so I kept it. Okay, um you got that. Uh you got that. You got that. And you got that. Uh you got that, that, that. No, don't wear it. Don't just don't. I can't take you seriously. No helmets. That's <laughs> I was like, okay, you can wear this. Nope, can't take you seriously. Uh, I Great, she's right now. In, yep, she's right now in Tori's face. Guess see now I got like nothing she can. Yep. Why do I have like plates? Okay. Real quick, go into my inventory. Miscellaneous. I don't need this. This. So these are things that are normally from our world, right? Yeah, that's right. What do you think's gonna happen to him now that I'm gonna leave him here? Do you think there'll be any like odd side effects? Sweet. Search chest. Sweet. 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 Read Jayub's notes. All right, here's the next mini quest. I'm gonna activate them both. Turn to back on. Actually, oh, it's not. Chris, it's not actually a quest, so this might be harder than I thought. What? There are ten sets of notes. Yeah. We need to find all. I think. Oh, I think there's ten. I don't know. I might have to look it up for you guys. See, so yeah, I never. That's actually one of the very few quests I've never actually done. Mostly because I couldn't figure out how to get back into the soul card again. So now we're gonna make sure we do this all at once. I heard voices. 
I heard voices. Okay. Oh, we can suffer through this. Keep going. Just gotta keep going. So Jayub's notes, I don't know where they all are. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up. I miss the warm sunshine. Green grass. Blue what the? Skies. Hey! Hey, horse! Hey! Hey! I found a horse! I found a horse! Hey, hey, hi, hi! What? Really? Woo. Sweet! Really? What's the matter with you? Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. Oh. How in the name of Xenathar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? Yes. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a word. Mm. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. Now people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Cool. Very funny. No, I'm serious. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Must be something you want. I'll tell you what. I... The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Bring me, say, twenty-five of odds and ends I've gathered over. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. All right. If you have the husks. Sweet, so now I got a salesman. I think it says go that way, so we go that way. All these creepy buildings are creepy. What was with the horse though? I don't know. That looks suspicious. Dragon! Okay, okay. Part of me sits here and says, I should stay on the main path, because maybe it's the safest route. And then the other part of me goes, that's just it though. Everyone knows it's the safest route. <laughs> this place is huge. I'm still wondering why I saw a horse and it did do What in the world is that? Uh, let's not go near it. <gasps> I'm going near it. That wigs me out. Just wigs me out. This whole place wigs me out. Serena, horse. Run! Really, really, Serena. Does it make a difference? Hear whether or not I'm loud. Since. Hey! Hey! Dude, it's person! Hi! Hey! Hey, I found a thing! A barrier! That leads up to the heavens! Hey! Serena! I feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. It seems awful. Like they're still suffering. Hey! Follow me. Look at this place. I can't imagine choosing to come here. Okay, are you sure? No, but there's no way she would have left it in Tamriel. She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. I can't imagine a better place. We got here fairly simply. Then we find out where she hid it. If she's still alive. Well, as alive as she was before. Or as now. Or... <laughs> you know what I mean. Why not hide it out? Probably to avoid whatever my father would do to her if he could get his hands on her. Torture. Or maybe her plan was to come back, but she was stuck here. We won't know until we find her. Alright. Hey. What now? I'm on it. 
Mother? Yeah, mother! Mother! Hi, mommy! Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. I hate you, Serana. We, no. we have to talk. Mom! Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? I totally don't work for your father. He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I don't work for your dad. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Oh, wait, what? Really? Wait a minute. You've brought a stranger here? Hi! Have you lost your mind? No. Never had it. You. Come forward. I would speak with you. Attention. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Uh... So we come here to pour the prophecy your way. No, our way. Hang on, what? Excuse me? <laughs> this is it's like... No, I will take the puzzle. Go. <laughs> what if I am loyal to Lord Harkin? Nah, I'm not. This guy's creepy. I haven't saved her from your food. I've been keeping her safe. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? What? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected there. her to explain yeah, that to you. Three. That's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? No. The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. Huh. Huh. When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. How do you know that? The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Huh? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molik Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molik Ball on his summoning day. Oh, I'm hungry. You survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. Huh. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Huh. Cold Harbor? It's what some call the domain of Molik Ball. His place in oblivion. Uh, okay. So it was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Okay. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on. I'll take that. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Saran. How come you couldn't use your blood? I've kept the like other I see Elder Scroll as so. far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow. And Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon. The tyranny of the sun would be complete. Mm. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Mm. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? I use his blood. I need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. He'll just start offering vampires or people until eventually Molech Ball accepts one of them. You care nothing for Serana or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. I'm sorry, what? And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Now hang on. Hang on. I'm just sitting here saying, hey, doesn't Serena have choice in this? No? Okay. She believes in me. Serana? A stranger may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. That's because you've been locked away for centuries. I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? I feel if like... you only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything... See, she didn't know about it! You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. 
Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Um... Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, it was still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. Do you know how bad this we makes you feel? <laughs> before he goes too far. And to do that, you need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. I feel like there's something good. I feel like there's something between you want us. The Elder Scroll, right it's yours. here. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way. We're best buds, right? Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was in prison. So what do you do all day? Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Great. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. Okay. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled. Here. You. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. All right, seems simple enough. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Durnavir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. Oh dang! The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. <gasps> right. Right. Can I save your turn? As you've been traveling in the soul cairn, your body has become attuned to Oh dang. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the soul cairn filled the void. Wow, that's creepy. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. I'm creeped out. When I entered the soul cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the ideal masters, the custodians. The janitors of this place. Of this place. What was the bargain? I requested refuge in the soul cairn, and in exchange. I would provide the ideal masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. They tricked you. The ideal masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. You became trapped. Unfortunately, yes. Since the keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Huh. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the ideal masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. Huh. Well, alright, good enough. Be careful. And keep my daughter safe. I will. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Righto. But first, we still need to find his soul, so I'm going to actually see something. Just want to see what happens if I do something cool. Okay. One, two, three. Go! I don't know, he does one at a time. Alright, tall spire. Seems simple enough. Alright. Do do. Cool. Obviously, all we need is the Master Sword. <laughs> Sorry, thing popped in my head. But don't worry, Jordanvir will only attack you if he perceives you as a threat. That's good enough. So, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, we're just gonna go over and Jordanvir out of nowhere. Dude, grabs this! Ah, oh, that's creepy. There's a person waving behind me. It's getting kind of irritating. I'm not sure why people feel compelled to do that. I like having my camera at the window because I think it gives it more like a, like a scenic look. Than other than just what in the world is that? The crap is that thing? I wanna poke it with an arrow from a distance. That did nothing. All right, must be safe. Do 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 do. Do what? What do you mean who's there? Whoa, there's magic men! That's a mat that's that's the exact same thing we saw earlier. This doesn't have legs. Oh! Oh! Dear! Can we talk about this? 
What is it? Ratman! Oh, Rathman. You guys don't know this, but now you do. Rathman is one of my favorite characters in Skyrim. Wow. We are getting our thumbs handed to us. Oh, wrong one! We are getting our bums handed to us right now. Wait, wait, what was I saying? Wrathman is one of my favorite things in Skyrim. Like, if I had to make a... Why is there health rat feature? Like, if I had to make a thing, a list of things in Skyrim that I love... Wrathman would be on that list. I love those guys. They are awesome. You... Oh, crap. You'll learn why later. But basically... Okay, nah, never mind, I'll spoil it for you. Wow, that did a whole lot of nothing. One hand increase, 96. Sweet. But these guys, you can eventually summon them from the Soul Farm. They are the best tanks ever. They're like Lydia, except... Okay, it's like having two Lydians, basically. Because they're, bo they're both just as awesome. They both run around and kick butt. And look at that thing. I don't even think it's affected by my attacks at all. Look at you! You're so beautiful! I love you! Why would you do this to me? Ah. Stop it! I feel like a traitor. I love you. You complete me! And look what I had to do to you! I'm so! I'm so sorry! Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, see? That thing is a tank. I love that thing. And it's not like... It's not even like it's a bad fighters either. These guys are tough. Oh. I'm mostly healing now just for the sake of... Um, or what should we call it? I'm just getting stamina. Oh! Who's Bloop! Whoosh! Get back here. Don't you run away from me! You blast me into the sky! Seriously. The amount of damage that thing takes. Not even trying. Come on. Die! So here's the next question. These ideal masters, wouldn't they notice that there's like some living things running around his property? Oh! Dear, please, please don't tell me I have to go. Okay, I do. That's great. Wouldn't he notice that there are like these things running around his property? Or maybe it's like a matter of, um. Well, no, we're vampires. Yeah? We're dead. We're already dead. Ah! Dang it! I love you! Let me love you! With this sword! Do your face! You need to be more well acquainted with my sword. Woo! Oh dear. Yeah, I really hope Serena doesn't do the thing of like where she feels stupid because. Nah, that'd be bad. Because Wrathman, you can see, I'm doing like nothing to it. Dang! Die! 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 Whoosh! See that should like break his spine or something. I mean, if I have enough force for make you go flying, literally flying, then how come if I slam you against something it does like nothing? Come on! Oh dear. Yeah, thank goodness for my vampire armor. That last one. Oh, that was my face. That was generating magic. Like, 100, what was it? 120, 125% faster? I love this. I may have just nailed Serena in the face with my soul. You are a beautiful creature, but you must die. Yep, you do real ancient order, Karma. Alright. 
Oh, that was fun. So is this the tallest tower? I like the style of this place. Okay, giant soldier. Giant soldier. Let's see what it is. Hello! Ow, 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 what's the chest? Cool, 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 cool. Reaper jump. Cool. Cool, cool. Ah! So you're not stop it. You're getting your soul sucked out. Keeper things and get back to the prison. Cool. What's a Reaper soul gem fragment? Maybe if I get like a bunch of them together. I don't know. Between next episode and this episode, I'll do some quick research. That's so cool. It's like floating and stuff. Harvest soul for sure. I really don't know what it means, so it says, like, a soul. I mean, do one of my soul gems get filled up or what? Anyway. Wow. Sakaban entrance. So, next episode, we're gonna go take these guys on. And we'll discover what a creep keeper is. And maybe we'll fig figure out how to get my best friend. Rathman. Best friend, best friend, best friend. Missing. I'm gonna use him, and you're, you guys are gonna see me. I'm gonna be, like, flipping out, going, <gasps> Best friend, Rathman. Best friend with me. <laughs> Sorry. So, see you then.